I was here at the age of 20 years old, and I never will forget seeing you come down the aisle. I'm like, oh my goodness, there's one. And I saw Franco win the, the, the Mr. Olympia title that year, I think it was 80, 81. And man, here I am today. But let me share another story. You know, as all is talking, I never will forget in 1983, having entered my first Miss Olympia show, placed third. I hate losing. I don't like to lose. That won the NBC National the first time, the IP World Championship the first time around, win the Olympia, well, Olympia the third time around. Man, I just don't like losing. I, you know, third place was the bad for a youngster. And I never will forget the after party at Albert Boussac's gym. I'm sitting in the back in early. I'm licking my wounds, feeling sorry for myself. And Shirley's consoling me as I'm sitting there with my head dropped. It wasn't that bad, guys, I'm kidding. And lo and behold, all comes over. I'm 23, 23 years old at the time. And he says to me, Lee, you look great on stage, you have a fantastic physique. He said, but you have to do something about that pose. You, you're on another level now. You can't hold like an amateur. So, when we get back to California, I'm going to introduce you to my posing coach. And Arnold made that gesture, and I made sure I had my butt there in his office to meet his posing coach. And I think, and I talk about that now, I think now that what Arnold was also doing was testing me to see if I had it here, to see if I had it here. Was I going to follow through and humbly accept the advice that he was giving me on the help. But I made sure I was there. Because he said to me, once you get it down, it's sure your polar routine, you'll be Mr. Olympia. And I want to say thank you for that.